Lawn mower accidents, they happen every year and unfortunately children often become the victims. This was the case yesterday when a toddler from South Lyon was seriously injured by a riding lawn mower. Well, today an ER doctor is talking to 7 Action News reporter Mira David about what you can do to prevent your loved one from falling victim. Amira? That's right. I'm at the Ann Arbor Hospital right now where that little boy is being treated for his injuries. Unfortunately, they are not authorized to give us an update on his condition, but we did speak to an ER doctor about how to prevent this from happening to others. These are powerful machines and, and we need to make sure that the people that are operating them understand uh, how to use them and, and in what ways they could either injure the person using them or people that are around. <laughs> That's the message ER doctor Brad Uren wants to send to parents as lawn mowing season kicks into high gear. It all comes in the wake of yet another tragic accident that happened just yesterday, in which a two-year-old was hit by a lawn mower at his South Lion home, sustaining significant injuries to his lower extremities. Uren says these kinds of accidents unfortunately happen more than people realize. Every season we see we see far too many people who are injured in ways that could have been prevented. The American Academy of Pediatrics says more than 17,000 children and teens are treated for lawn mowing injuries each year. That's why this doctor says education and awareness is key. Make sure that people who are operating it know how to do it and that they're of proper age and are responsible enough to operate it and, and make sure that, that people give a, a wide berth uh, to the, uh, the equipment while it's operating. And beyond just learning how to operate these lawn mowers, we do have some guidelines from the Amputee Coalition on how to stay safe. They say keep your children indoors when you decide to get out there and cut the grass. Never allow them to get on a lawn mower, even if it's turned off. Certainly, certainly never allow them to ride on one with you. And of course, that's really great advice as we get into the lawn mowing season. You're in Ann Arbor. Amira David, 7 Action News. All right.